Hello everyone and welcome back to Yonder the Cloud Catcher Chronicles where we are greeted by a light drizzle, quite pleasant honestly, pleasant drizzle, the, the, the sky is bright, the sun is out, the rain is probably quite refreshing. Right, in this episode we are actually first and foremost going to rush by our farm, say hello to a couple of the Groffalo on the way, maybe even pick up a vine or two, we're going to need a lot of vines, hello Groffalo, I'm not going to give you anything but hello. Um, we're gonna need a lot of vines to be able to carry every, uh, sorry, carry, um, to lure back one of uh, the, uh, the Bambaxes back to the farm, which is something I really want to do. So we're gonna be, uh, hunting for vines for a little bit. Um, but also, in this episode, I feel we should, ooh, that was a bit of a bright sunlight vine. I think we should head down and uncover a bunch of the murk, which is this sitting down here, an awful lot of murk. Much of it is gonna be within the uh, realms of our sprites to uncover at this point. Hello, everyone. How are you all doing? There you go, oh, you're happy. There we are. Uh, where's our sprig pig? Hello. Marvellous. I would like to take you on a journey, but for now, I think not. Um, have we got any other large animals? I don't know. I'm really, really hoping that the Fabbit is a large animal. Otherwise, we might have a bit of an issue. I think the, the Bambax is going to be a small one, so we might need to get rid of you and put a small, small one in your place. We'll see about that one, though. But onwards, onwards towards the murk that's all down here now i'm not sure what if we've got what we need for the fabbit i have been told that it is herbs i've been told with great confidence that it is herbs but at the same time i was also told that the bambaxes were herbs but they're not they're vines so it's cast everything else into doubt oh my lord i just don't know what to do with myself now i don't know if i can trust that the dapplings were telling me that the fabbits need herbs i fairly certainly probably do um if for no other reason then since the bambacks already have vines uh just the kind of the, the whole rule of um everything should want something different i, I guess uh we'll hope at the very least now where's all that murk that we need Hiya. Uh -huh. a group of fabbits is known as a cloud oh that's actually quite hmm. cute Fabbits really like herbs. Oh, there we go. There we go. You you have been uh, you've been had your your herb advice confirmed. I, I trust the game implicitly, even though I really should. There's plenty of games that actively trick you. Scalawat games. Uh, let's see what we can do. Grab a little bit more fodder since it's our cash crop of choice. Yes, I know I can make vines out of the fodder and I'll get more money for it. You clever so and sos. Uh, right, let's go ahead and plant that seed there, and continue on. 28 more to go. My lord, that is an awful lot, to be fair. Right, where's the nearest Merc? There's a bit of Merc all the way over there. Let's, let's head in that direction and see what we can do. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, everyone's asleep, actually. I don't know who I'm saying hello to. Myself, I guess. Uh, right. Um, let's drop down. Actually, we. You know what? We have. We've done very little with the 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 um, Taylor's yeah. Guild. I really should. Here's a tip. There's a lot of interesting, uh, interest in anything food related in Gold Lake. Ooh, okay, thank you very much. Because I can make quite a few things there. Hello. <coughs> Woof. And Zoe. Huh. The Celestial Beyond is where all the missing socks end up. Wow, okay, that's pretty interesting. There's a quest over here. <laughs> Lady Beckett. Oh my, this is quite upsetting. All of my cats have run away. Oh, because of that wretched fur bag next oh. door. My poor little babies. <laughs> can you please do something about that murk spawned flea pile so my poor babies can come home? Uh, that's rude, but I'll see what is the matter. <laughs> Oof. Good day to you. Woof, woof. My toy broke. I got bored and played with the cats. Why is Scruffy the one talking to me? Woof! Woof! Oh! But the cats ran away. But I love cats! Woof! Woof! I'm ever so sorry. Huh. Oh. Oh, Scruffy. He destroys toys quicker than I can make them. And old lady Beckett is mad because he scared off her cats. Oh. Well, to be fair. Uh, that is kind of, you know, reasonably annoying. I'm the only person in a village full of tailors who can't sew. It's my secret shame. Uh. 
I can only make toys out of paper. Hmm. Can you take this recipe and make a toy for Scruffle, uh, Scruffly? Scruffly? I thought it was Scruffy. Just don't tell anyone. I die of shame. Uh, your secret is safe with me. Toy cat. Okay. Uh, let's have a quick gander at that then. How does one make toy cats? Uh, toy cats. I need two yarns, one cloths, and one haberdashery. I love that word. Um, <laughs> I make a haberdashery with lace fish. Seems dodge. I'll be honest, that seems super dodge. Okay. Uh, I'm going to need fluff. Hmm, I bet those come from fabbits. Okay, I need a trader who will send sell me fluff. Please be a trader who stocks fluff. Uh, you also stock cloth. I will take all of your cloth. Uh, I could just buy the yarn, I suppose. But I'd like to buy the fluff. I can buy the herbs. I will buy the herbs. Thank you. Uh, fluff. Um, ooh. Wow, you got some fancy clothes here. I, I don't know if I want to buy them. I, I kind of, I feel like I, I want to make it myself. Um, you sell some coal. You sell some dyes. White dye, blue dye. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Some hide. Well, I see no fluff. Therefore, I shall purchase the yarn. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm going to make everyone annoyed. <sighs> the things I do for you people. Uh, right. Okay, let's let's go and make some yarn out of all my fodder rather than sell the fodder. Because it makes people very unhappy when I do that. Uh, I'm not going to sell that, though. Uh, I'll also make uh, one pile, well, two piles of six. No, we'll take down vines to a nice even number of six. There we go. Trade. I would like to buy uh, all your cloth. All your herbs and all of your yarn. There we go. And I will trade you in exchange. Uh, well, twine is actually that good here. That doesn't surprise me, thinking about it. Uh, right. I could, I could sell you some stone tiles. I could sell you a bread. Straight up, that's worth an awful lot of money. I could sell you a princess fish, too. Uh, if we could get something that was a little bit... Better. Actually, let's go for two of these. There we go. You can have an extra four. I will allow it. There we are. What? I don't have enough room. In what? This thickens. What? The, but this is terrible. Uh, well, I guess we're not selling those then because I need to make enough room for three things. You can have all five of my fodder too. There we go, I've made enough room for three things now. Well, actually, I've got enough room for quite a lot of things. Why was I not able to do this? Hmm, most perplexing. I've given you way too much. Let me let me give that to you in, in less quantity, please. Oh, fine, we'll, we'll use this. Uh, well, actually, no, we'll need to give all of these. That's fine, that makes even more room in my inventory. This better work. And finally, I just need, like, 11, so... This would be a great time to have just some, some fodder, as it happens. But alas, I do not. So I'll give you 11 sticks instead. You're going to get less of a good deal, but there we go. That's what you get for me not having a big backpack. I, I guess it actually isn't your fault when I think about it. Um, sorry. All right, let's go make ourselves a cat toy. Cat toy created. Here you go. <gasps> Thank you so much. That's real craftsmanship on this toy. Oh. Looks durable enough to last scruffly for quite some time. Uh, I don't think so. Not with the way he's playing with it. I have my own cat! Oh, that's actually remarkably cute. He looks so happy with his toy. I hate to ask, but can you try smoothing things over with old Lady Beckett? She wants nothing to do with me. Also, can you tell her scruffly won't be a bother anymore? Oh, I kind of feel that like perhaps you should be the one to say it, but okay, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. It's not like I've got the, a world to save and Merc to clear or anything. Hello, Lady Beckett. Ooh. So, you've pacified that Merc spawn flea bag, have you? Ooh. That's all very good, but it won't bring my back my 55 little angels, will it? My lord. Mm. Yes, you heard. 55. I know, I know I could have more, but I like to spoil the cats I have. That's not what I was thinking. Here's a list of every cat missing. As you find my babies, bring them back. I'd be ever so thankful. Um, sh sure. Um, here you go. Uh. 55. Five and five cats. I do not count 55 cats oh. yet. But I guess you deserve some reward for helping out. Uh. 
Okay, okay. Where's oh, there's another cat somewhere. What is it? I I can hear it unless those are the cats that have returned. Wait a second. Oh, I see you. You. Trixie one. Oh, oh my lord. Wait. There. 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 Ah. Oh, no. Ah. Uh, I think those are the ones that I've given back. And they are now playing in the yard. That is actually incredibly cute. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of glad that this isn't an elaborate quest of whack-a-mole. I would feel horribly bad. But I don't need to because it's not that. So we're going to move on and we're going to think nothing more of it. I'll grab a little bit of you and grab another vine as well. I'm really hoping that those fair bits are large animals, but I'm, I'm not entirely certain that they are going to be. Uh, what other quests have I got? Um, travel the Old Kingdom, find some crew. So, Taylor's Guildmaster. Let's actually track that one, because uh, maybe we can quickly finish that one off, actually. You know what? Let's, let's give it a try. Another Master Guild would be uh, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and make this, have a dash room, make a rivet if I really wanted to, make some backpacks, make some trousers. Um, is there anything I'm reasonably close to? I need a tailor's kit and brown dye, and that's all I need for these pants. Um, brown dye. Now, is there a trader nearby with whom I can purchase, from whom I can purchase brown dye? Does appear so. Hello. Oh, I like these graffles. They're awesome. I also like your antlers. Equally awesome. Flame shampoo? Galaxy shampoo? Oh, my lord. Also, hairstyles. Um, front lick. And unkempt short hair. Or graffle backpack. I'm really tempted. Or a top hat. I've already got it, so I can't. But tempting. Um, galaxy shampoo, though? Tempted on that one too. Um, the Groffle backpack though is amazing. I would super like it. And also the Galaxy shampoo. Thank you. Now I know the value of these. Oh my lord. The value of these things. Right. Be right back. Hooray. We're almost at the Carpenter's Guild. Now, there's a bit of a story, okay? I went back to the farm to drop off some things and I thought. Well, when I go out to do the tailor's quest, when I come back, I want to be able to bring back one of the fire bits. But I don't know whether it's a small or a large animal. So, I've got two large pens that aren't full at the moment, so why don't I just swap one of them to be a small pen? But then I realized that I didn't have enough stuff to make the small pen. But then I realized that, in fact, I can make glue. It's amazing. I can make it. What? I can make water from vines? What kind of witchcraft is this? Oh, uh, I've discovered something new. But yes, I can make I can make it from uh, psyllium flour and water, which is just glorious. So I've now got all sorts of glue. I don't actually think I need to be out here anymore. Well, that's just typical. Typical of my life, frankly. There we go. I came all this way to buy some glue. And I didn't need to be all this way to buy the glue. Uh, okay, well, I need, I need more water. Okay, well, I'm discovering new things all the time. And I suppose that's good. Every day's a school day and all that. But, I need one glue and then some more planks. How much is it going to cost me to make planks, though? Uh, can I not make planks? I cannot make planks. Is that one of the basic things? No, it's nothing. I, I would have expected to be able to make planks here. Alas, I cannot. That is very frustrating. Never mind, then. I well, actually, it's not that frustrating. I suppose it validates my trip all the way over here. When you think about it, uh, I will buy all of your planks, good sir. And since I'm here, I will buy... Whoa. Hmm, 21 glue, that's quite a lot of glue. I'll be honest, that's very expensive. I'll buy all your nails, though. But the glue... Eh, is super costly. I'm not sure. Not sure on that one at all. Can I, can I interest you in some... Uh, hmm... What could I interest you? I could give you some fish. I could give you a yin fish. Actually, you don't need a yin fish. Uh, what am I talking about? You need very little, actually. Let's uh, give you two flour. There we go. Uh, wait, no, that's wrong. I was I was counting wrong. My bad. Uh, this does, in fact, though, mean that I can uh, just do this nice and quickly and, and get you exactly the amount you require. There we go. Traded. Perfect. Now, what I can do is make the thing that I wanted to make all along. And that would be 
A small animal pen. Hooray! Hooray for us. Double hooray. Uh, now I need to use the teleporter. You go find the save stone. I picked up all of our um, hunting supplies as well since I walked up here. Because I just like walking around, frankly. Also, the constellations are really pretty in the sky. That's actually incredibly pretty. Right, now, hopefully, we only need to head up here to reach the save stone. I do believe that is correct. Um, on the plus side, by me not uh, record, uh, rather putting down a cut there while I was traveling up here, it meant that you didn't have to hear me coughing and spluttering when I took a, a, a sip of tea. And there was cat ears in it. <sighs> this is my life now. I've come to understand. Now now that there, there is a cat in the house, this is just pretty much my life. There's going to be cat ears everywhere. My bed is already covered in cat ears, but now my tea as well. I've had ferrets for two years. Not once has it been ferret fur in my tea. Though, that being said, it's a little bit unfair if I don't also mention that, yes, on occasion, Siri has been quite interested in my tea, which is completely forgivable, but the steam, it tickles her nose, bless her. It's the same with my food. She's, and once or twice, she's like, oh, what's this drink? Ah, chew! And then sneezed in my tea. I wasn't best pleased, but I kind of forgave her. But, I, I mean, that's only because I saw it happen. I knew that it had happened, so I could, I could, I could uh, pull the tea out. The cat hair in my mouth thing, that that was that was very sneaky, frankly. I don't know how she does it, but she's very fluffy, so I can only assume that her ability to get fluff everywhere goes up with how much fluff she has. So, fair enough. Right, let's go, and I think we're going to plant some traps around here, so it's really easy for me to uh, grab these as I need to. Whoa. Whoa. Was that, do I only have one? Ah, they get used up. Ah, that makes sense. Okay, well, I'll just leave that there. But yes, now let's go in. We'll have to pick up one of the large barns and place down a small one. And that should be fine. We'll grab you, I think. And remove. And instead, I would like to build you. This does, however, mean that we can uh, investigate the uh, cheese maker or was it milk can't remember let's uh, quickly pop that down cheese maker there we go uh, I guess we will put this well I guess <laughs> why would it be a milk maker that's what groffles are uh, right we'll place this look at the best spot I guess it is over here actually. okay we'll just pop it right there and pop and we are done now let's have a look at you then. How does one work this thing? Automatically produces one cheese from one groffle milk. Manually produce one cheese from two groffle milk. Um, I'll just let that work. We've got groffle milk here, I'm fairly certain. Let's have a quick gander. Yeah, we've got some groffle milk. We've also got some flowers. Fantastic. Uh, you know what? I'll take the clay as well because it, it seems to be used everywhere. Now, have I filled up my inventory with stuff? No, I've actually reduced the amount of stuff in my inventory. I am super pleased with myself. Frankly, really, really quite happy indeed. Let's drop off the barn, though, because we don't need to take that where we're going. There we go. In fact, we don't need to take the vast majority of stuff that I've got in my backpack where we're going. We're going to do it anyway, though. Hello, Gruffle. Maybe at this point I might need another one of you. Now that we've got a cheese maker. And I can only assume that cheese sells for a lot more than uh, just milk, so perhaps that's going to be our next uh, next quest there. We will get a second groffle. It depends on the fabbit. I think we'll, we're will we going to try and, and lure the fabbit back all in one go if we can. Uh, you're quite far away, though. Hmm. This is going to be a bit of a potch, fabbit. I will be on uh, Wait. I can hear a fabbit. Where is it? That's a rock. They're remarkably easy to confuse with rocks. They're very well camouflaged. Evolution has been very kind to the fabbit. Not that I've seen many predators anyway. Aha! There we are. Hello, fabbits. I wouldn't say the two is a cloud, but I really do want to call them a cloud. This fabbit seems interested in your herbs. Give the herbs to the fabbit. Yes. Okay, fabbit, let us, let us go. Quickly now. Come on. Oh, that's so ridiculously cute. Okay, I'm going to take this fabric back to the farm. Hopefully, if I can get it there in time. How many herbs have I got? Let me just double check the amount of herbs I have. Got one more herb. 
Mm, odds of getting back there, fairly slim. But I need this fire bit to uh, pick up the pace. Come on, it's gonna be great when you get back. No, 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 fire bit, come on. There we go. Oh, I will bring you back when we either reach the farm or we stop shy just a few steps away from the farm and then I'm crying. We're almost there. I think we're gonna make it. I've only just had to give the fire bit the last herb that I had. Oh, this is gonna be great. We're gonna have our own fluff farm. It's gonna be amazing. This is gonna be fluff for days, possibly even weeks. And this is where we find out whether the fire bit is a small or a large animal. I'm gonna bet it is a small, based on the fact that it is fairly small. Uh, you know, there's no particular science to this. No, 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 fab, fab it, fab it, this way, this way, that's right. Don't be confused. There we go. In you come, and we'll join. Yes, I accept. Where have you gone? As expected. Hello. That is fantastic. So good. Right, let's check this out. And we are going to get, we get eggs. We get eggs from Fabbits. I was expecting fluff. Hmm. Okay. A small and energetic animal. Cute as can be. That is true. That is very true. Uh, okay. Well, that, that's cool. I wonder if I can sell more of them in there. I don't know. But we're going to have to find out at some point. At any rate, now that we have achieved that, and I am super duper happy with it, we are off back to the Taylor Town, where hopefully we can like purchase some things and also make enough stock to joy to get Master Taylor badge. Ah, so much to do, so little time. Okay, we are back. First and foremost, I need these things. They they are needed by me. Galaxy shampoo. I think that's what it was. Uh, and also the Groffle Backpack, because Groffle Backpack. And bye, yes, thank you so much. Right, let's see how I look with Galaxy Shampoo. Um, I need to go over there first. Uh, I may be regretting my decision. I'm not regretting that decision, though. That decision is amazing. Uh, you know what, the Galaxy Shampoo isn't terribly bad. Yeah, actually, I think that's going to grow on me. Just initially, the lighting was a little, little bit off. I will, I, I'll be honest. I was kind of hoping for ca some sort of starry kind of effect behind it, like some sort of impossible distance. You could stare into my majestic beard and see the cosmos opening up before you. I'll, I'll accept that it looks like I've just covered it in blue oil, though. I guess. Uh, right. Okay. <laughs> I, that, I, sorry, sorry, Galaxy Shampoo Trader. I didn't really mean to insinuate that your Galaxy Shampoo was just blue oil. But, you know, if the shoe fits. Uh, right. What do we need for all the things that we want to make? I want brown dye. Let's purchase this. 306! Why? Why must you be so terribly, terribly expensive? Oh. Oh, the pain. Um, yeah, you know what? I, 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 I could give you a lamington. Uh, uh, maybe buy a bunch of other dice. I, I guess this is also. The, I, I could also give you the leather backpack, but you're not going to really give me a good deal on that. Is there anything that I can trade that isn't quite as ridiculously undervalued by this this, this fella? Um, I mean, I could I could get. Yeah, I'll sell all four of those. That brings me a little bit closer. Uh, the oil, I'd rather not sell if I'm perfectly honest. Um. Hmm, what else have we got? I mean, th actually the twine isn't too bad, since it is a reasonable um, return on that. Uh, but I've got nothing else that I particularly want to sell. Although it would sell well. Ah, uh, Scallywax. Okay, I'm going to sell one of these. I'm going to take all of these back. And I'm going to take... Um, actually, I can't afford to take all of those back. However, the, with the, vi uh, the sorry, the twine, maybe we can make this work. Oh, it is if fate, fate decreed that this stuff should be mine. I gotta move away from here because I, I, I'm kind of cut, caught halfway between. Oh, that's such a cute noise! Or those kittens sound like they're in distress. My goodness, pretty much like Tally is whenever she hears a squeak toy. I can't tell if she's impossibly excited or incredibly worried for whatever is making the squeaking noise. So uh, I've, I've more or less outgoed squeak toys for the ferrets. <laughs> I, I, I can't know whether Tally is excited or worried, and the, you know, the, 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 the potential reward does not outweigh the potential risk. 
Right, okay, so we want to go ahead and make a thing for the Tailor's Guild. And that thing for the Tailor's Guild would like to be... Oh, I need orange dye as well, and I need the twine that I just sold. Can I make some more twine? Yes, I can. Ha ha! Can't escape me that easily. Right, these are mine now. Womp. No idea how much that was worth. That was worth a lot. I'm really glad it was worth a lot because it was really expensive. Uh, have we got anything else that I can make that's just a little bit? I, mean, I, can, I can make a haberdashery, sure. Um, I can make a tailor's kit if I make some more twine. Alright. Let's make some more twine then. Uh, another tailor's kit. Uh, I, I can make some leather strips. Have I made enough yet? So close. So remarkably close. Uh, okay. Let's go make the leather strips. I'm going to assume that's enough. Yes! Ha ha! Fantastic. Hmm. Hello, Lion Man Joss. Well done. You've mastered the art of the tailor. Oh, that was short and sweet. Man, a few words, Lion Man Joss. I can respect that. I've got the Guildmaster's Badge! Round satchel backpack. That actually looks good, but it's nowhere near as good as my Grawful backpack. Floppy beanie. Not as good as my top hat. Earmuffs are pretty good. Floral skirt. Fur coat. Ooh. Just as it starts raining. Preordained? Possibly. Light blouse. Long brimmed hat. Oh, that's actually quite nice. Still not as good as my top hat, but, you know, credit where it's due. That is a nice hat. Really? That's all I got? I was expecting that list to go on for ages. Oh, I'm a little bit underwhelmed. I'll be perfectly honest. The fur coat, though, and the fur line trousers, these are things that definitely catch my attention and I may possibly want. Uh, right then. I, I'm not sure I want these. The shepherds... Uh, Bracky, or these? Uh, no, I, I actually like that. Okay, well, that's fine. Can I sell this to someone? Uh, I'm sure I can at some point, but we'll check that out later. For now, for now, I want down here. I want down here to the Merc area. Can I just drop down from here? No, can I just drop down from here? Is it a possibility? Let's have a quick glance around. Can't tell if that's ground down there or not, but it's worrisome. Oh well, you know what? Biscuit for the biscuit. And I'll you. Um, no, we're not going to make it. We are 100% not on target. We're going to fall in the drink. Loosh. Can we? No, no, we're dead. We're, we're, we're drowned. No, well, we're not dead, actually. Some some dapper fellow came to our rescue. Well done. I approve of you keeping me not from being dead. Um, I really want to get down there though. Let's try from here then, I guess. Maybe just jump down. Ah, uh, yep. There we go. Bound to make it work this time. Clear the merc. Yes! I have no idea what I've just achieved. And I've just fallen in the drink as well. Um... Yay? Yeah, mo no, not yay. I can't tell. But we've done a thing, and we're going to try again. Ooh. There! Ha-ha! Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha! We have found it! If we're going to be able to get back up or again or not, I am not entirely sure. But we cleared the murk down here. And that was a bit of a chore. Uh, oh, we can get over there. We can also fish down here if we want to. There is a treasure chest. I accept the treasure chest. We've got some coins. Always nice. Anything else of interest down here? Or is it, I've just thrown myself to my doom. Am I never going to get back from here? Is this my life now? It might be, actually. Um, wouldn't be the worst life. But I would kind of like to get back up top. I'll be perfectly honest. Uh, we can't go that way, I don't think. How about this way? Can I convince you to let me leave? Possibly. Possibly, maybe. Whoop. Yes, yes, we can. Ha ha! You can't keep me prisoner. Uh, is there anything else down here that I want to do? Uh, oh, another treasure chest. How marvelous. 
I've discovered blue shampoo. Um, no, I've, I've already got blue hair. And my blue hair is oily. Uh, that, that is to say, it is, it is galaxy shampoo. Cosmic shampoo. One, one could turn the phrase. And I'm not sure they'd be correct, though. Because, again, you, you, don't, you don't feel enlightened when you, when you stare into my majestic beard. It just looks kind of greasy. I'm not a fan. Ooh, a cave. Hello, have we been in this cave before? We may have. This, this seems like a place. Yes, I remember this cave. I remember this show. I remember that rumbly, growly noise outside. All right, I know where I am now. Okay, so where is the next murk to clear? Just up there, and there, and there, and there. Okay, this, that, that is my goal for this, this whole episode is simply to get all of this done. Sunwind's Bridge, find the missing crew, Radiant Sand Shrine, the fashionable scarecrow. I guess we could do that at some point. Yeah, we'll set that up. I'm gonna bring you a long brimmed hat, floral skirt, and light blouse. All things I can now make, which is particularly good. Uh, is the Merc in this direction? I believe it is. But we're not going to be getting back to uh, to Hipsterius for a little while, I think. Because it's going <laughs> to... We are going to have to do some serious grinding to have the money to buy the things I need to buy to be able to make even a small amount of the stuff that he wants. Uh, we need to go up. Okay. Uh, to go up, we can use that little bridge over there. Okay, okay. I'm... I'm on it now we've got an idea of where we need to be also i'm collecting there are more and more vines everywhere because vines are so useful they make water and they also make twine my goodness though we can make twine out of fodder so probably should use fodder for it instead because vines are much harder to come by we get a lot more fodder when we uh, decide to gather it than we do vines when we de when we decide we want those oh can't get over there I've got hot head hair. Uh, sure, actually. Let's give that one a twirl. Womp. Turn off my uh, hat for a moment. <laughs> it's Chrono Trigger. We need to get the flame hair so that I can I can cosplay cr um, Chrono. This needs to happen. Kind of looks like a bit of a mad scientist now. And I'm not entirely certain that I disapprove. Uh, I think I actually approve. In, in hindsight, I think I like this. But I really would like to be up top. Hmm, how am I going to get up there? How does one get up here? Because I'm fairly certain it's not like this. Uh... Here we are. Aha! Right, let's clear this murk. Please and thank you. 14 of the 7 that I need. Pomp. There we are. Now, what is this? What do you have to tell me, Simon? A good spot for a suspension bridge. Hawthwind Vale, Wood Bridge. By all means, let's get that done. Yoink. Now it's going to be much easier to get up here. I basically walked the wrong way, so I ended up going all the way around instead of more or less direct, which does make me feel a bit bad, but also, ah, it's a pretty scenic game. I like to go the, par the, the, uh, the, the longer route, the scenic route. I was about to say the path less travel, but honestly, the path less travel and the path more travel, they're exactly the same thing. That's the whole point of that poem. It's not about you should go the way that no one else is going, it's that ultimately you get to the same place. And you discover interesting things along each, each route. Or at least that's what I think. Hello, Merc. Get that one sorted. Yoink. And we've now got a new constellation. Oh, fantastic. Discovered the Penasus, the wise scholar. Uh, oh, there we go. How glorious. And is that it? We've got some items over here that we can uh, break up. Yep, we'll go ahead and get all that sorted. Now, I've seen at least one place that needed, like, 18. Ooh, I hear the kitten. Oh, I walked straight past the kitten. Hello. A mountain moggy. Okay, anything else up here that I particularly want to check out, perhaps? Um, I don't know, actually, I don't think so. Okay, let's go and use that suspension bridge then, and see where that leads. I'm fairly certain it's just a faster route to get up here, but I could be wrong. Wouldn't be the first time I've been wrong. Won't be the last. Hello, suspension bridge. 
What secrets do you conceal? Uh, also, nah, I'm not sure. I'm actually not going to gather that. Uh, what do we have over here? Is there actually anything over here? I very much doubt it. You know, I think it's just a, an easier way up, honestly. We'll see, though. We'll, we'll do a proper explore. We should be able to see many more constellations now. Let's actually have a look around. Where's the others? There we go. Oh, that's wonderful. Soon the night sky is going to be beautifully illuminated. Uh, I don't have any seeds. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. We do, however, have a cave. And I like caves. Let's go and... Ooh. Where's the kitten? It was definitely a kitten herd. Hello, kitten. It is dark. I cannot see. Kitten. You behind the rock? No. You hidden in the in the the barrels and boxes. Possibly. So I'm a little bit concerned that this is my method of checking. And we just smash those barrels and boxes around you. Um it might be above us actually. What else are we gonna find in this cave though? Some more barrels and boxes and then a way out. Uh okay. I I guess that works. I would like to find the kitten, though, otherwise I know I'm going to forget that I heard the noise here. Like, in two or three episodes time, I'm like, where's that last kitten? And I just won't know. Ooh. Hello. Haven't been up here before. You can build Hearthwind Farm. Wow. Really? Very well. Let's get that built. Yet another farm. <laughs> I, like, I love the theme in each area. That's actually glorious. Well, we can definitely get enough food to get someone to care for this farm. Has this chest got access to everything? It does. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. Uh, let's check the produce. Now, the item chest from the farm doesn't is not shared. The, uh, the items uh, in your personal storage are shared. That's where my confusion was coming from. Um... I would like to get up top if it is possible. Can I possibly hop, skip, and jump over from this rock? It may be possible. I may find a kitten above that little area. I think we're going to have to try that. Whoop. Let's go. Whoop again. And run about. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. We'll try it again. We'll try it. That, that, was, that was a practice run. I was just seeing how, how, how silly I would look if I failed it, you see. Because, you know, for science. Now, you see, you see there, there, the actual run worked perfectly, because I'm, I'm, I'm not bad at this, no matter what anyone else says, I'm 100% good at making up excuses for why I'm so bad. Uh, hello, I knew you were up there, there we go. We have got plus one cat, only eight more to find in this area. Marvellous, I must say, marvellous. Uh, is there anything else up here? Since we're... No, no. That that was not how I imagined that to go. That also was for science, you understand. I just needed to check how silly I would look if I fell off when I wasn't even trying to jump. And now we know. It's very, very important data. Without me doing all of these science experiments, we wouldn't know the answers to these burning questions. But here we are. Here we are. I, I've, I'm doing all of this work in this episode. So productive. All right, let's, let's get back up there. And <laughs> see what's on the other side of this mountain. Ah, uh, if I wasn't quite this stubborn, I probably would have turned around in disgust with myself. And then we'd never know what was on this side of the mountain. Um, oh, a treasure chest. There we go. Fantastic. Let me see. Three coins. I accept. That is a good deal, if you ask me. Um, it's a good deal even if you don't. Right, we've got a little bit of murk still over here to be cleared up. So let's go and try and do that thing, shall we? Geronimo! And can we actually make it over there? I don't think we can. But I'm fairly certain the Merc is down here, isn't it? Hello! Yes! And inside, we will find two treasure chests. Probably full of Old Kingdom coins. Ooh! Cobblestone. Very well. And a spinning wheel? Oh, that's fantastic. I could probably make twine or cloth out of fluff. Marvellous. Okay, is there anything else 
that I need. And the other Merc. Yes, there's one more Merc just over there. And also a little bit more to explore, actually, on the side. But that's fine. Um, I think we're doing quite well for ourselves at the moment. Uh, I would like to find the safe stone for this area, because I'm assuming there must be one. I might be an incorrect assumption. But given the amount of safe stones there are when we uh, use the safe stone and we go to the hub, I'm going to assume there's one in every biome. Right, where be that last bit of murk? I think we're going in the right direction, kind of. I would have been wrong if I'd carried on going in that direction, but no, no, we, we discovered the mistake early. Right, so it'd be somewhere over hither. There we are, just up there. Perfect. Let's go and check. This actually might be hiding this age, so... Hello. I've come to clear you. And we can indeed clear you. Fantastic. Okay. Now then. What have we found back here? All of the Merkin Hoffman Vale has been cleared. Great job. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that, actually. Very happy with myself. This looks like an auspicious location. Um, am I meant to do anything here, though? Uh, I do not know if I am. Hmm. Let's just have a look around. Giant tree branches. Um, it's just a place for me to come and have picnics, I think. And I'm glad for that. Everyone needs a spot that they can go and have picnics. And just, you know, chill out from the from the rigors of, the, of, of everyday life. Just go, relax, have a picnic in a sun, sunny but shaded spot at the same time. If, if I want to bask in the sun and I have like factor 8 bajillion sunscreen, then I can do that. And if I don't want to instantly combust, then I can sit in the shade. Perfect. Excellent AVAC proof location for picnics. Uh, right. Down here though. Is there anywhere else in this land that we need to go? Or, or are we done? Um, looks like we can go down there and just just pop around the edge of the island just so that we've completely uncovered it on the map. Because I'm one of those people that even if there's almost no chance that there's going to be anything interesting there, I still want the map to be completely uncovered. I'm like that in pretty much every game I play. Uh, right, let's go. And also, picking up loads of vines on the way, which actually is very, very useful for us. We need all of those vines. There we are. Some boxes. Plenty of boxes. In fact, I'll smash this one. I really do love that Groffle backpack. If nothing else, this episode has rewarded us with a Groffle backpack, and I accept. Best reward. Well, other than a fabric. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest, Grovel Backpack, as wonderful as you are, adding a fabbit to our farm was a pretty big highlight for the day. Ocean shampoo. Hmm, might be tempted. And another vine, just because. Ah, look at that. Look at the ocean. It's lovely. We've uh, done quite a lot of work today, I feel. I, I think uh, I'm pretty pretty happy with what we've achieved. It is summer. There's still a little bit of stuff to do down there. Uh, okay. I guess we're going to go and do that first, and then we're wrapping up the episode. I thought we were done, but alas, we are not. But it isn't that far of a run. But yeah, I'm still enjoying the game quite a lot, honestly. This is a game where you can play it fast, and be very goal-orientated, and do all the quests, and you'll get through the content pretty quickly. You know, and that might be fine, you might really enjoy that. And you might come away with it with a feeling of, yeah, that was a great game, it was worth the money, I had an amazing time, and now I'm done with that, and I want the next game. And if so, more power to you. That's actually a pretty, pretty good uh, way of looking at things. I'm the sort of person who dilly dallies a lot, though. As you may have already noticed, I like to look at everything. Uh, sometimes I'll just stop and, you know, gorgeous view on everything and praise the sun everywhere. But, you know... I know that uh, some people are like, well, you know, I, I played it for half as much time and I've completed the game. Uh, it's just different play styles. I, myself, prefer to uh, explore thoroughly. And I really do feel that this game is at least 50% exploration. That is to say that, you know, the farms and gathering and crafting are all, you know, big components of the game. But I definitely think that, the, that uh, this game was designed with, craft, uh, with uh, exploration in mind. And it looks... 
and that is going to open up. So we're going to let that happen first, and then we're going to head up. Where's this trader? Is the trader up there? Ah, interesting. Is the trader over here, perhaps? In the ki Ooh, what have we found? Okay, this was unexpected. All right. Few more, few more moments on this app. I know I keep extending this because I enjoy the game so much. We have found a secret cavern with a trader in. Those are the best traders. Hello, secret trader. You want? You will sell me fertilizer for one coin. Uh, all right. I'll buy some fertilizer off you. Thank you. That is actually quite useful. I can take that up and we can get some more flowers and, and berries and stuff growing. That's going to be grand. And we can probably even uh, get a couple of fish in this cavern. No, that was actually pretty good. Is that opened up? Yes. Fantastic. Very soon this is going to take us up towards the Tinker's Guild. But there's only one way to find out for sure. Geronimo! And yes, up nearish to the Tinker's Guild. Fairly certain. Have a quick look. Yeah, there we go. All right, so in this episode, we actually accomplished a lot. We joined, we uh, became a master tailor. We uncovered all of the Merc in Hearthwind Vale. And we also uncovered Hearthwind Vale Farm, which I'm super happy with. We're very close to plus 1.5% faster farm production speed there now. We've already got that 95% happiness in uh, the grasslands. What about up here? Uh, we're 67%. We're not that far off. We're at 86%. In Crestfall Coast, and we are well, we're a little ways off. We are only at 58% in Sunderwinds. Uh, then, yeah, the other places that that's it's probably not talk about those for now. We've still got a couple of regions to go though, but that is gonna be it for this episode. I do hope you've all enjoyed and will be joining me for the next as ever. Any comments are warmly welcomed down below. But until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.